It's a super win win situation. Hang out where the beasts hang out. I'm gonna work out every single day of this year and drive myself nuts. Treat yourself because you're probably gonna be a size smaller at that point. Get to know yourself. Crush your fitness goal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Victoria and I do videos on fitness, health, inspiration, motivation, and I also post home workouts that you guys can follow along with and do at home as well. So you can get fit and feeling good and feeling healthy. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting new videos. Um, but today I am super excited because we're gonna talk about the five ways that you can crush, 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 crush your fitness goals. All right, so the first tip, is to take one day at a time. Have you guys ever created a fitness goal that kind of sounds like this? I'm gonna work out every single day for a year. The problem with this fitness goal is that it's really, really overwhelming to think about. My suggestion is to break that goal up into smaller pieces. Smaller pieces that your brain can uh, handle and your body can do. So try to reframe that goal to sound a little more like this. I am going to work out today. That sounds a whole lot easier than I'm gonna work out every single day of this year and drive myself nuts. Make the goals manageable because in the end, fitness is a lifestyle. Being fit, being healthy, it's about putting a bunch of small actions and small choices all together, adding them up, and then over a longer span of time, seeing the result. And that is a more sustainable way of looking at fitness. Tip number two, hang out where the beasts hang out. And you're probably saying, what the hell does that mean, Victoria? Well, let me tell you. Hanging out where the beasts hang out means you're hanging out in the discomfort zone. Who does not want to be comfortable? No one. But if you want to be healthy and if you want to be crushing your goals, then you have to be uncomfortable. You have to be hanging out in the sweaty zone where you're really pushing yourself. You need to be pushing yourself to be working out early in the morning or late at night if that's what it takes to get your workouts in. So hang out where the beasts hang out. And on to number three. This is a very unique idea that my husband came up with. And I really love it so much that I'm gonna share it with you guys. And what it entails is getting a jar and Every time you do a workout, every completed workout, you put in a quarter or a dollar. If you're into shopping at Lululemon, that place is hella expensive. And every time you do a workout, you put money into that jar and after you've made enough money to go out and get yourself a workout outfit, treat yourself. Get yourself a cute sports bra, some sexy leggings, because you're probably gonna be a size smaller at that point and you're also going to be feeling really good. And when you put your cute, sexy outfit on, you're just gonna wanna work out more. So it's a super win-win situation. Try it out, guys. Let me know down below what you think. On to number four. Get to know yourself. We all tell ourselves lies to get out of doing uncomfortable things, such as a workout. And we've all been there, trust me, I've been there, and what I'm telling you is to become aware of those things that you're telling yourself so that way when they do come up, you can change them into something that won't derail your fitness goals. For instance, if you work a really long work day and at the end of the day, you get in your car and you're saying, I'm freaking tired, I'm just gonna skip the gym and go home. And then when you get home, you tell yourself, how hungry you are, you eat a huge dinner, and then sit down on the couch and relax watching Netflix for the rest of the night. <laughs> now, this situation could have gone a lot different had you planned for that. If you're tired after a long day at work, make sure you have a pre-workout drink or something that get you psyched for the gym. Or if you are really hungry after a long work day and you just wanna get home, Pack yourself a healthy snack, and that might be enough to hold you over to get a workout in and then head home and have dinner. See, so there's ways that you can fix things and make them more doable, so that way your workout will happen, because nothing worth doing was ever easy. You have to be smart 
about fitting in your workouts. Now, doing these things will also make you mentally stronger because the more you do things that challenge you, that push you mentally, the better and more stronger and resilient you will be. So that's something to look forward to that is a benefit. My last tip is my favorite. And it is to remember that this is a beautiful life. This life that you're living right now is a miracle that you're even alive, you are breathing, and you should not waste a millisecond of it feeling any less than beautiful, confident, sexy, strong, happy, amazing, awesome, all the positive feels you should have every single day. So when you are working out and you are staying fit and you are giving yourself the gift of strength, mental strength and physical strength, you're gonna feel all of those things every single day. The transition is gonna happen from inside out and you are going to be feeling like you could take on the world. So on that note, take on the world, get fit, crush your fitness goals, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos like it. And I hope to see you in my next video. All right, guys, take care. Mwah.